I've completed many goals in my 20 year RuneScape journey, from maxing RuneScape Classic in 2008, RuneScape 2 in 2011, maxing a hardcore Iron Man, getting 5.6 billion XP and obtaining the Trim Completionist Cape. I've set myself the ultimate goal of completing one of RuneScape's most prestigious titles, the Golden Reaper. Quick recap on what we were able to accomplish in episode number 4, Rise of the Six, we did finish off 100 kills and we unlocked all of the pets indicating now that insane final boss is completed for Rise of the Six. And towards the middle, Greg Gorovic, we got the pet. We still don't have the 100 kill count in hard mode so that is now changed to blue. Continuing our saga on Elite Dungeons 2, we have 75 hard mode kills completed, which indicate we have 25 left to go for final boss. We were able to pick up two Greater Barge ability codexes, but that's the only drops we have, so we have 25 kills left, hopefully we can knock some more out. Took a much needed break from Elite Dungeons 2 and decided to go do some Reaper tasks. I got General Grador and since we still need the Bandos Hill piece, uh, we'll just make it a full hour there. And this kill should be number 2000 on uh, General Grador in normal mode. Um, actually I guess I miscalculated. Oh, there it is. Oh, that took a long time to pop up. I've been doing a lot of AFKing at Corporeal Beasts in my downtime. It's nice in AFK and I still need all four sigil drops. So I figured it's a good way to just chill out. And that is kill number 700 on Corp Beast. And there's another 100 kills down. And there is 900. I'm not sure how it happened. But I was able to get a divine drop, and my recorder, for some reason, only recorded my desktop. It's pretty unfortunate, but uh, we were able to get the divine sigil. So that's one out of four done on Corp Beast. I just wish I had the recording for it. There is 1,000 kills on the Corp Beast. And there is 1,100 kills now. And 1,200. Picked up another Reaper task and we got the Cow Fight Queen, something that I haven't done in a very long time. Ooh, is that a drop log item? Let's check it out real quick. Oh, I already had one. Oh, oh well. And that is the end of the Cow Fight Reaper and whatever achievement that is. Let's go back and do some Elite Dungeons too. Super random clip, but I was banking and my alt just got the Hellweir pet at 194 kills. Decided to go to bed and do an hour of Twin Furies before falling asleep, and I was lucky enough to pick up the Blade of Avarius drop, something I needed on the drop log. A few moments later. It's two Blade of Avarius drops within about 20 minutes of each other. Still need both pets now on the log, but it's good to have everything else out of the way. There is 1100 kills in normal mode on the Twin Furies, and I really need the pets. Ooh, that is interesting. I think that's a rare drop. If I remember correctly, that's a 1 in 500 drop rate. That's basically a little Tuz drop rate right there, and I just wasted the RNG on Razorbacks, so we're gonna reroll this. And no Acto. Ring on. Yaka. And no Acto. That's, uh, wow. Free boss death weeks are now here thanks to Frank. 
And I don't have a lot of experience at next, so I want to get some kills out of the way. Hopefully get some drop log items. And on this kill, I was lucky enough to pick up my first Ancient Emblem. Uh, so now when I go back to Calfire King, I can hopefully make a tier 90 shield. I ended up doing two full hours of necks and inviting my girlfriend along to join since she needed the experience and the drops just started to flow. And there is 1200 kills now in normal mode on the Twin Furies. It was very late in the morning and I decided to go to bed and just do an hour of Twin Furies AFKing while I fell asleep. And lo and behold, I was able to finally pick up my first of the two Twin Furies pets, getting the Nymora braid at 1317 kill counts and I believe that's added between hard mode and normal mode. Uh, really nice to finally see one of these pets. A few moments later After going over 1300 kills dry on either pet, I was able to pick up both pets in the same hour Approximately 30 kills apart And just absolutely astonished that it happened that fast I am now completely done with the Twin Furies, I never have to come back here Since I already have the hard mode kills done This video has been kind of all over the place as I jump from boss to boss, but it can all be boiled down to my procrastination and putting off finishing Elite Dungeons 2. I've just been really tired of Elite Dungeons 2, it's kind of become repetitive and boring, but I need to finish it so from here on out we're going to rush to 100 kills in solo mode and we're going to get it done. Alright, it is time for our first upgrade to Cosmeticscape. I was able to pick up the third age die for 5.7 bill, and I think it's going to look really nice on the fractured staff of Armadillo. So we're going to buy it here and throw it on and see what happens. Yes, use it. Ugh. So much money. It's going to be worth it though. Alright, let's do it. Yes, I'm sure. And there it is. Oh, look at it. It's so nice. Oh, man. I haven't shown the Elite Dungeon chest in quite some time. This is after 86 solos. As you can see, most of the progress is made up by the Greater Barge Ability Codexes, but they are dropping every day, so let's finish out these 100 kills.
is that the pet? That's the pet. We did it. I never have to come back and finish the dungeon after I get 100 kills. This isn't... Holy cow. I was not expecting that at all. As you could tell from my change to uh, Soprano, I was really surprised to get that. I was just kind of mind-numbingly doing elite dungeons, not really expecting to get anything. Uh, but I believe we have to do an Elite Dungeons 3 run in order to claim the pet. Uh, so we'll do that after we finish 100 kills. After a long, long, long time, I finally reached 100 kills in solo mode for Elite Dungeons 2. Uh, really excited that I was able to get a pet and the Greater Barge. That means when I'm going back here to finish Golden Reaper in the future, I don't actually need to go all the way to the Blackstone Dragon. I can just rush to Varath and repeat. Uh, so that'll save some time in the future. Really happy. Let's go take a look at the chest. This is loot from 100 solo Elite Dungeons 2. And uh, there we are. It's going to be really nice to clear that out, and even better, I can finally start on Elite Dungeons 3. In fact, I guess we'll go do Elite Dungeon 3 run now, unlock the pet, and uh, see where that takes us. Chucking these bad boys in the Auto Alchemizer, and I'll check again in about a week. Uh, should be done then. And that is my first ambassador kill in a very, very long time. I am super rusty. I'll have to get used to this again. Uh, but uh, let's grab the pet out of the bank. And uh, uh, hopefully this guy doesn't kill me. And we'll unlock the ED2 pet. I believe we just talked to Seryu here. And... Uh, oh, okay. It changes the pet. So now I can inspect it. And we've unlocked the pet. There we go. At the end of episode 4, I mentioned I'd give away one commenter 50 million gold. So there's only three comments on the video. So we'll start at the top saying 1, 2, 3, and we will open up uh, Google Random Number Generator. Go 1 to 3, and number 2. So I will be giving that person 50 million gold, and that clip will be in the next episode. And for everyone else, I really appreciate you tuning in to watch. My pet luck has been absolutely insane lately. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Happy holidays.